Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. In my hands is the zero issue of Upshot Now, the magazine from artists, writers, and artisans, AWA, the uh, I'll call it the upstart publisher. Uh, this launched at New York Comic Con. It's a pretty high pro profile publisher and headed up by Bill Jameis and Axel Alonzo. And it's got some pretty big talent coming down the pipeline with some interesting uh, series. So, what this is, Upshot Now, is an uh, imprint of AWA. It's going to be a whole bunch of comics, and what the Upshot Now is, is a magazine that has first issues of various comics that are going to be coming out. There's black and white issues, uh, a bunch of like first full ones, and then uh, kind of previews of some other ones. And the way this is going to work is uh, the Upshot Now is going to be released monthly featuring the black and white previews. Uh, and then those volumes will be available to retailers the same month uh, they order the full color single issues. And then a month after release of the single issues, a volume containing them will be available to the public for purchase at an affordable price. Uh, really interesting kind of distribution model and, and idea in general. But I kind of want to go through this first uh, zero issue. It's really kind of weird to say first issue when it's a zero issue. We're going to go through the zero issue and discuss what's in because it's a lot of uh, crazy creators and it's, it's pretty solid. Uh, so this is fall 2019, as I said, debuted at New York Comic Con. It's, it's really good. I mean, there's been a, a massive amount of new publishers coming out in recent years. And I got to say, I, I read a lot of what some of those publishers put out initially. This has me really excited. There is um, some solid work in here. Everything I think is good and nothing is bad. Um, all of it's really, really interesting, uh, if not great. Um, all right, so first we got The Resistance by J. Michael Straczynski and Mike Diodato. Uh, and then Sal Cipriano is the letter. Raza is the cover artist. Show off some of the art while I talk about it. So the story of this is that there's a disease that, that ravages the world, it kind of starts falling apart, massive amount of people winds up dying, and then eventually the disease just kind of stops. Um, and no one knows why. So is this like religious? Is this uh, um, scientific? Was this an attack? Like we don't really know at all. And what's hinted at is it's possible superpower people or people with some abilities might be behind this one way or another. Uh, it reminds me of Pandemica, which is coming out right now by IDW Publishing, great series that you should really check out, and Straczynski's Rising Stars that came out many years ago from, uh, from Image. It's, it's good. I think out of all this, this has me really excited. Uh, there's a great mystery to it, and I really want to know what happens and what happens next. So it's, it's some cool stuff. I don't know quite how to describe it, but it's got a lot of potential as far as a series. Um, all right, next we've got Archangel 8. So that is by Michael Morecci, C.P. Smith. Uh, it's about a hitman who is hired to go kill some people. Uh, Sal Cipriano is the letter. Jeff Dickel is the cover artist. Really kind of cool uh, art. Now, what's interesting in this is I was reading it, and it's got, you know, it's a, it's a hitman story. Some guy's written, uh, hired to go knock off some people. You don't really know why he wants to kill these people. You don't really know who's hired them. You get the sense that these are bad guys, but that's about it. Uh, what's interesting was going into it at first, I was like, oh, is this going to be kind of like when the Punisher became the hitman for God? Um, and then started reading it and wasn't so sure and got to the end and also not so sure anymore. Um, on my being un unsure. So it, it's really intriguing. It seems to be have some like religious thing about it. Uh, it it's got some potential. Um, it didn't quite blow me away like the, the Straczynski one did with the resistance, but it's still, it's still really good. It's, it's, it's described as a supernatural espionage thriller. Um, it, it's still a solid beginning and it has me really, really intrigued. Uh, I think this was kind of like my second favorite one out of it with the, the resistance being my favorite out of all of them. Um, all right, so next, this one is probably going to be controversial and really interesting. So it is called Red Border by Jason Starr. Will Conrad is the artist. Sal Cipriano's letter. Tim Bradsey is the artist. I probably showed off some nudity when it came to that. Um, art is, I think, really, really good. Um, all right, so it's, it has to do with the border. Uh, we got two people that are... In Mexico, in a uh, kind of violent area, they cross a gang, have to go and cross the border into the U.S. I kind of got like an Eli Roth uh, torture porn vibe off of it. I really don't know where it's going to go from there, so I'm intrigued to see. Uh, there's a lot of different directions it can go. Uh, so this was described as a gritty tale of para uh, border paranoia taken to the limit. 
it's going to be fascinating. I, I think this is potentially uh, controversial uh, with the material. I really, I just don't know where it's going to go. Like, there's a whole bunch of different directions, and I'm fascinated to see uh, what the story entails going on. So it's it's very much a setup, um, and it's a hell of a set, setup. Like, it's 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 good. It's really really good. Um, so that one, uh, I'm I out of the three. Out of the three, I think the resistance is the best. Um, Archangel Eight and Red Border are really are good though. They're they're actually really entertaining. So then they've got a whole bunch of short previews of these other books. So we got uh, something by Frank Cho, Fight Girls. Uh, concept of that is that um, like a queen has to quit, and then girls have to go fight to take up the spot for the queen. Um, they compete against each other. It's uh, so created, written, illustrated by Frank Cho, colors by Sabine Rich. Letters by Sal Cipriano, who seems to be doing a lot of this stuff uh, for this series. Um, I kind of rolled my eyes, admittedly, uh, a little bit about it. This, this kind of on concept of women fighting and, and going through kind of a Hunger Games sort of thing to get married, it just seems a little outdated. However, there is a however before you all say, you know, you're a bunch of, you're a, you're a um, SJW cuck or some whatever crap you guys are spouting now is as insults. Um, I got to the end and I laughed. I really, really laughed. The 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 preview I think is a really solid preview. You kind of reading it and it just feels very been there, done that. But then you get to the end of it and it, it's really difficult not to just laugh out loud on this one. Um, all right, so next we've got Hotel by uh, John Lee's and Delabor Talajic. Uh, this one I kind of have at Sal Cipriano's letter, Kara Andrews is the artist. So this one I, I have the hardest one trying to quite figure out what's going on with it. Um, it described as a horror anthology, chilling horror anthology, uh, and this main story deals with a woman who's pregnant, running from uh, an abusive, I'm guessing, boyfriend, um, uh, partner, and winds up at this hotel off of Route 66. Uh, I'm guessing it's a horror thing. It doesn't quite dive into that enough. There's some really weirdness that goes on. Um, so it's intriguing. I think out of all of it was maybe my least favorite, all of them. Um, it's, but it's still, again, it's intriguing. I'm also not a big horror person, so maybe I'm just missing stuff and not picking up on the tropes and stuff like that that normally happens. All right, so next after that, we've got um, Year Zero by Benjamin Percy, uh, Ramon Rosanas. Uh, Rosanas, Sal Cipriano's letter, Carrie Andrews is the cover uh, artist. This seems to be kind of a zombie story. The issue I've got with this is it doesn't really get to the zombie part. It's a preview um, and it's all character set up and it never gets to that actual moment where like all hell breaks loose. It hints at it a couple times with some scenes, but it cuts away from it. So I never quite get to the meat of the story. So I think as previews, it's the weakest of the bunch just because it never quite delivers uh, the zombie. It's, it's, it's all like that 15 minutes before the film, but it never gets uh, before the film credits, but it never gets to that moment right before the film, film credits where you go, oh, and then are excited for the film. So um, as much as I'm looking forward to the series, uh, Benjamin Percy, I think, is a fantastic writer. I think out of all of them, it's, it's probably the weakest of the bunch when it comes to like pitching what it does. Uh, we got All the Haunts by uh, Ollie Masters, Rob Williams, uh, Lawrence Campbell. This seems to be kind of a mobster series. Um, I think kind of Goodfellows-ish. Uh, three, I think, mobsters kind of get together. They clearly have uh, some bodies on each other. The FBI is going after them. Uh, it's it's intriguing. It's really intriguing. Ollie Masters is one of the has done some fantastic stuff when it comes to mob stories. Um, I'm looking forward to this. There's some really fantastic things on uh, potential on this. It's it, it hints at like a supernatural crime story. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. So then we got Devil's Highway this is also by Benjamin Percy. Brent Schoonover is the other. Uh, Sal Cipriano is the letter. Um, um, there's basically a murder. The daughter has to go try to figure out what's going on. They call it a vengeance saga. Uh, really intriguing, uh, interesting characters, interesting start. Um, this definitely has that, you know, 15 minutes before the credits 
roles a vibe about it. So overall, I, I, I think this is really top notch. I, I, the concept is really cool. I like the idea of the magazine. I like the idea of having full issues, black and white, that you could read, and then a bunch of preview issues. Uh, I definitely would feel like I got my money's worth at ten dollars. Three comics for ten bucks plus a whole bunch of previews. Uh, I think that it's totally worth it. So. Um, as far as concept goes, I think this is really interesting, uh, fascinating to see. I can't wait to find more um, out more about the, the series, actually read the first issues in the, in the series themselves, and uh, see more of these. I've kind of been fascinated to see where this uh, magazine goes. I guess we could call it a magazine. It's not quite a, a previews, uh, uh, not like your normal previews. Um, so yeah, go check this out. I know it's limited to where you can get it. You definitely can get it at conventions when AWA is uh, is there. Uh, there's some shops where you can purchase it. We'll go have some links underneath. I have no idea if any of it will be affiliates, but we'll just say some of them might be affiliates. Uh, go support your comic shops. Uh, we'll have links to wherever you can get it. I don't know if you can get it at kind of normal shops, but we'll we'll see basically. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, I want again. I want to thank AWA for hooking us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it. I'm kind of looking forward to see what else y'all have down the pipeline. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, if you're interested in comics, graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Hopefully, we'll have more coverage of AWA as it uh, releases down the road. As always, I uh, appreciate it. I'm Brett. Until next time, uh, you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr. Pinterest, all that stuff, all that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So thanks for watching, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.